Hey up viewers, welcome to Weekly TV. This is James Peck. Ah, oh, wait a minute, it's just Jimmy Nixon. Peck is away today and left me to take you through the fantastic match. Uh, we're away at Farnsville, who are having an amazing start to the season. Six wins out of six, top of the table. Uh, but playing a resurgent weekly, um, as we know, four from four. So it's going to be an absolutely fantastic match today. Uh, the only change is Mad Dog has found his way out of his foxhole and returns. Um, and he replaces uh, Ralph, who goes back into the twos. So Wheatley have won the toss and decided to bat Bruno and Munch uh, opening. And uh, opening bowler for Farnsfield, Joseph Worrell. With a good first ball. And in comes James Barker, the captain of their team, for the first ball. Lovely start. And that's, Sean Ken. The top. And that's the first four of the game. And that's clipped into the offside. Running for a quick single. And throw at the stumps. We're right. running, boys! And that's clipped into the offside by Munch. And that's Sharp a beautiful Ken, shot, shot and over the boundary for four runs. And that's edged, and that's gone to slip, and that is just short. Bit of a change of field here, square legs going out to the boundary. I think it might be a short ball. Oh, absolute peach. It's again chipped into the gap there, on the leg side. Fielder running for it. And they come back for a comfortable two runs. And Bruno's gone for a big six there. Oh, one bounce, four runs. Great shot from Bruno. Waiting for the bad ball. Oh, and that's Edge it's gone past second slip. It's come down to third man boundary. Feel the picks up. Big shout, RBW. Not out. That's clipped into leg side again from Bruno. It's raced into the boundary, and that's four runs. Oh, that was an edge and a uh, very hard catch, but an opportunity nonetheless. So, first ten overs complete uh, in the innings. It's uh, 26 for no wickets, um, and it's change of bowler. Vitali coming on for Farnsfield as the first change. Oh, and that's up in the air. That's gone over the wicket keeper. It's definitely off a glove or an arm. That's gone down the boundary for four more. Going, What's he Bruce? calling? Yeah, four runs. And that's uppish and okay, just short of the bowler. So at this point, it might be worth asking uh, what Peck is up to at the moment and um, hope he's enjoying his time at Legoland. All keys and no cricket makes Jim a dull boy. All keys and no cricket makes Jim a dull boy. All keys and no cricket makes Jim a dull boy. That's going down. It's a fine leg, there's no man there, that's four leg buys. Oof, and that is, that is an edge, and that is out. So with that wicket, it's uh, 37 for one. Uh, Angel into the Line up and with his first shot, sorry, second shot because we missed the two before, it goes for four runs. And again, that's smashed to the boundary. That's four more runs from Alex. And that is absolutely pulverised. And that's four more for Alex. <laughs> and Alex is a bit uppish, but again, it's hit over to mid off boundary for four more. Lovely start from Alex here. And again, he's absolutely pulverised that. Field is trying to get there. And he does brilliant to stop it. And he's kept it to one run as well. Great fielding out there in the deep square leg boundary. Oh, 
Really good boy. Change bowler here, uh, Mark Hallam coming on for Fansfield. And that's punch munch shots. One bounce and four runs. And I obviously meant a munch punch, not a punch munch, because that would just be ridiculous. And that's a, a wide ball. And that's Edge that's coming down to third man. Where Mr. Joe Wall picks up, checks back, just one run. And that is a big hit from Al. Into the leg side. And as you can see, that's gone for four more. Wheatley accelerating now, 67 for one of 16 overs. Um, and in typical Angel fashion, he's now matching Munchie with 23 runs apiece. And that's gone past point, and that's hitting the boundary in the fence for four more runs. And I may have just missed that. Um, we've got a new bowler, Alex Hutchin. That was a full toss. Uh, Mr. Anger has whacked that for six runs into another field somewhere. Massive shot. So a bit of a loosener for the new bowler, Alex Hudson, here. And that's gone again. And Alex has nerdled this one into the offside. And the field is great to pick that up. And he's, uh, he's definitely saved two runs there. Or balls. Alex down the pitch. And that's come one bounce, four runs. Another great shot from Alex. He's accelerating very, very quickly. Alex races on to 37, score 91 for one. Danny comes again, he hits it this side, and that has definitely gone for a six into the hedges. So another new bowler on here for uh, Farnsfield, trying to stem the flow of runs that uh, Munch and Alex are putting on at the moment. Currently 97 for one, Alex on to 43, Munch on 27. And that is to Vitali, and that is out. Great catch on the boundary there. And in at four is Luke Floppy Hat Tong. Off the back of uh, a couple of good scores. And that's first ball, and he's given out LBW. So, a change of ball in here, uh, and Mr. Freckingham is uh, on his hat trick ball and in come to the crease is uh, toppers. Let's see what happens here. And it well blocked by toppers there. A lot of pressure. So, uh, 20 overs down. Uh, Wheatley are 98 for three. And uh, talking about 20 overs, next week we have a 2020 game on Sunday. So there's no game for the first on Saturday due to the Queen's Jubilee. On Sunday we will be recording a 2020 game. So Mark Hallam, a bit of a change of end here. Um, and it's his first ball to toppers. Very nice ball. So after that last over, Wheatley have raced on to 101 for three. Um, Alex on 46. And that's a beautiful cover drive from Toppers there. Let's race the boundary for four runs. And he's off the mark. Big appeal, going down leg, not out. Uh, that's hit, that's coming towards me, and that's well fielded on Lucky. Great effort, and that's four runs. And that takes Mr. Angel to 51. And a uh, lovely little clip again into the leg side for a quick single. The tops has popped that in the air, and that is caught beautifully at points. So next in for Wheatley is George Lewis. Um, I dare I say a bit of a Wheatley collapse here. But that's clipped into the leg side. 
George off the mark straight away. Lovely ball. So the players have just stopped for drinks. It's uh, 25 overs down. Um, and currently 116 for four. Angels on 55. Mr. Lewis on two. So Alex facing now. And he has whacked that out along the ground. They're going for two runs and they get home safely. Big shout for uh, Stumpin there, but not out. And Alex has hit that straight down. It's going down to this field, that's going to be a single. George has hit that in the air, and that is caught by the fielder, and I have missed that. So, uh, mini claps here by Wheatley. Um, we were 97 for two, uh, and now currently 126 for five. Let's we'll see if Captain Eddie Tufts can come in and stabilise the innings and uh, support Alex Ainger and his uh, excellent batting performance so far. And Eddie has punched that through the covers. Looks at racing towards the boundary, and that is well chased and picked up by Fatali and just the two runs so Captain Eddie messing with my angles here left handed batsman um, and uh, that's uh, we're moving into our last 19 overs I believe now so it's 129 for 5 um, really good comeback by Farnsfield so far and that is a big hit it's up to the boundary that's a beautiful catch right on the boundary Again, apologies, I've missed the catch. Well caught, sir. So to the crease is uh, the myth, the legend that is in Jordan Niles. And that is a beautiful shot for four runs. Um, we are currently 133 for six now, so we uh, really need to uh, build a partnership here. Still 19 overs to go. And that is a beautiful shot again. Cover drive by Jordan, that's gone all the way for another four. Good start here. And that is, I think, leg buys. Is it gonna go all the way down to the boundary? I oh, know, he's given four runs. And that is chips. Outside edge, and that's caught by Vitali. And Jordan leaves the field. So this brings uh, Mad Dog to the crease after his uh, three weeks sabbatical. And first ball, lovely little shot clipping off his legs. And Eddie with his typical shot, trying to get to Cal Corner. Glad you didn't get that cover. Okay. So I'd like to uh, apologise there, I missed the catch, I had a bit of a battery emergency. Um, Eddie sort of slapped one, trying to go for cow corner again, and got caught very easily. So after that wicket it takes Wheatley 144 for 8, uh, it brings Cal Rutherford to the crease, looking for some runs this season. So Farnsfield bringing on uh, Joe Worrell back on. Uh, after his first five overs, he had four maidens, five runs, with an economy rate of one. Um, looking to clean up the tail end of Wheatley here. Oh, that's clipped off his legs there by uh, Mad Dog. He's running towards the boundary, it's going to be two more runs. Oh, what a lovely ball. a beautiful ball. Yorker, middle stump. Great ball in there from uh, Farnsfield. And my, my dog to parts. So 
So last batsman in for Wheatley is the imperious John O'Ellis. Um, and that again is an absolute peach of a ball by Joe. Great effort there. Hit right on the end of the fingers and he looks in a lot of pain. Let's hope he's okay. Well, he's back on his feet and he's ready to play. That's, uh, as a wicketkeeper, I know how that feels. Oh, that's another peach for a ball. Beautiful over there by Mr. Walt. Let's have a tally back onto the ball here at the top end. And a big swing and a miss there by Cal Rutherford. So we're into the last 10 overs here of the Wheatley innings. We've moved on to 151, and that's clipped off his legs, and that's possibly going to race down to the boundary. No, well fielded. Come back for two more, so it's one five three for nine. Come on. And that's a lovely shot, and he's absolutely blasted that through the cover. Region for four more runs. And he has given that a good thump. It's so one bounce. I don't think it's going to go to the boundary, though. Oh, no, four runs. Well done, Cal. And that's a bouncer to repay Cal for the favour of the last shot. And again, clipped off his legs. What a beautiful shot there by John Ellis. And that's gone for four runs. Looking like an opening batsman. And that's up in the air, but it's Mr. Fielder. And he come back for two. A really good um, fight back here from the 10 11 from Wheatley. And that's gone up in the air, and the wicket keeper has caught that. And that's the end of Wheatley's innings. Really hard battle at the end there between John Owens, Cal. Uh, well fielded and well bowled by Farnsfield. So Jordan Niles coming into ball. And that's a beautiful little shot down the hill. And it's gone for four runs. And that's again flicked off his legs. And heading down to the boundary and that's four more runs. So Zach Richmond Dixon on strike here, left-handed batsman. And uh, Joseph West, non-striker, right-handed. It's after an eventful first over, 11 runs off that. Jono's coming in for his first ball of the day. Slap back for no run. What yeah. a beautiful ball that was. David, he said David's ball was slow. A lovely first over there from Jono, great wicket. Let's see if Jordan can join the action. Oh. Oh. And that's hit. It's the leg side boundary out of nowhere for four runs, what a shot. And he's not given that. Oh my oh god. god. And that is a huge hit. And that is six runs. What a shot that was. And that was close. Caught and bowled that. And that is another massive shot, and that's six more runs. That's bounced over the fence in someone's garden. Lovely shot there from the batter. And Farnsfield move on to 40 with that six, uh, making quick work of this uh, score, and that's a beautiful ball. 
uh, and a great follow up by John Owen that's edged and out. Well battered. So in at four for Farnsfield is uh, Vitali. Big swing in the miss there. Right. And that's coming through the legs there. It's coming towards us. And that's four runs. And that is another hit ball. And there's no one there. That's another four runs. And he's gone for that again. Didn't get all of it this time. Cal Rutherford's chasing that, and no, that's gone for four runs, another shot, three in a row. After that four, that takes them on to 52. And another no ball there from Jordan, and that's a free hit. And that has been smashed for four more runs. And again, Farnsfield really, really picking up the run right here. Uh, takes them on to 58. And we haven't even had 10 overs. Off his hips. And he's trying to chase that down, he does. And they come back for two runs. Fielded there by Toppers. No run. With that four, by the way, it takes on 69. This is a fantastic bat from Farnsfield. Um, absolutely explains why they're top of the league. And they're uh, storming to this uh, total very, very quickly. And that is a beautiful shot again. Short ball dispatched for four. And again. Huge, huge shot, but only four runs, one bounce from four. I think Vitaly's in a bit of a rush to uh, get to the bar here. Let's see how Johnny recovers. No, again, clips off, and that's another four runs, two in a row. And that's massive again, one bounce, four, that's three in a row. Can he make it four in a row? Oh, no, uh, yeah, clipped off his legs, and that's gone down. It's a very, very fine leg, and that's another four. Are we going for the fifth four? Let's have a look. Ball's coming in. Ah, oh, nice. Quick single, well batted. Good recovery from John out. And with that, we bring on Alex Anger to try and stem that tide of runs. Um, that's chipped over. No one there again, that's four more. And that takes Farnsfield onto 94 off 12.2 overs and uh, our friend Vitali is on to uh, 46 and that is Edge that's coming down here and with that Vitali moves on to his 50 um, and Farnsfield have moved on to their 100 runs, 102 they are now that's another wide ball, that's another 4 this is fantastic batting by Vitali here. Wheatley stacking the offside here, trying to stop this force. And it comes again, and that's whacked again, and it's straight through the two fielders, and that's another four. So another change of ball here for Wheatley. Munch has come into the action. Good mate, hold on. And a lovely little shot Excellent into lads, the order. offside for a quick single, bringing Vitali back on to strike. Let's see what happens next. And that's in the air. Oof. Just short of George and coming through for another single. So I've been reliably told that Vitali got his 50 off 26 balls there and he's not stopped. He's just smashed that again. That's another four. Well battered sir. I'll tell you what, there's one person who will be missing this and that's Mr Peck. Um, if only there was a way of seeing what he's doing right now. Yes. So 
a lovely little delicate shot that looks like it's going to head down and that is going to be another four runs I believe if the umpire calls it there you go four more runs and he's coming down the pitch and one bounce four more runs this is a show of pure class by Vitaly here and that moves him on to 84 runs off uh, probably around about 32 33 balls and he's gone again and that is massive that's gone out the ground and that is one of the biggest sixes I've seen this year. So Farnsfield needs 30 more runs to win and uh, Vitaly needs 10 to get his 100. And that has gone over everyone's head into the pavilion, nearly killed someone. Bounce off the roof and one of the supporters caught it. So that takes Vitaly on to 99. Here he comes. And he's going again. And he's hit a quick single. Picked up by Cal. And that's his 100. Congratulations, sir. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. And a few shake of the hands out of respect for great innings. So 18 overs gone, 156 now. Farnsfield make that, uh, oh no, that's 156, and that is caught on the boundary. Well batted for his 100. Well caught on the boundary by Luke. That's a great innings by Vitaly, uh, really good 100. He's put himself and his team in an impervious um, position here to win the match. Currently 156 for three, um, with 32 overs to go. It's a big shout, and that's given. Yeah, we mentioned the first game of the season when we were 129 for three and then 130 all out. Um, you know, it, it's known to happen normally to us, but um, you never know, it could happen to the opposition one day. <laughs> I'd like to apologize for the noise, but um, as Katie, my co commentator for the next few hours, mentioned, seems to be someone mowing a path just behind us, and that's the noise. And that was a short ball. It's gone out to the boundary. And that's four runs. And that takes them to 170. And that is it. Miss Fields. And uh, Farnsfield have won the game. So what a fantastic game that was. Uh, Farnsfield absolutely uh, battered weekly there. Um, some great batting from Vitaly, great opening bowler with uh, Joe Worrell as well. Um, we just weren't good enough today, but um, we will be back. We're not back next Saturday, we've got a 2020 game um, uh, against Anston on Sunday, which we will be recording. If you've liked the video, please um, like and subscribe and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. And um, please comment below if you enjoyed the video as well. Thank you very much.